All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Uh, today, we're going to be going through our ultimate Bing Ads tutorial for 2018. Um, so I'm going to be going over basically everything you need to know for Bing Ads. Uh, we're going to start with conversion tracking, how to get that set up. Uh, I'm going to go over remarketing with you. I'm also going to go over how to set up UTM tracking so you can track all your campaigns into Google Analytics uh, very eas easily and seamlessly. And then I'm also going to go through how to create a campaign. Um, and I'm going to create some different ad groups, go over the keyword match types that you want to create. Uh, so this video will be broken out into different sections on our YouTube channel, and it'll also be this full long video. So if you want to watch things specifically, just go to our YouTube channel and look at the videos surrounding this one. Uh, the best way to support these videos is to subscribe and share this. So share it with a friend, share it on your Twitter page, however you want to share it is the best way to help us because more people see our videos and we can keep creating them uh, for every single channel. So what you want to do first is create your Bing Ads campaign. Uh, what I do is I go through ads.bing.com and if you haven't set up your Microsoft account yet, you can set it up through there and they'll also give you a coupon. Um, so you get $100 when you spend $25. Um, so I already have that set up in mind. So once I spend $25, they're going to basically give me a $100 credit. Um, so the next $100 I spend is going to be on Bing and I can pause my campaign after that. You could spend $125, see where you're at, see your results. Uh, so just go to ads.bing.com to get started. Set up your account. You're going to have to set up a billing profile uh, with a credit card or something like that. And you're going to come to this screen here. So we have no campaigns yet. Um, we're showing our dates for you know November 1st, 2017. There's nothing here. So what I want to do first is show you how to set up UTM tracking with Google Analytics. So what you're going to do is come up here to the top corner, click on the gear icon, and click Accounts and Billing. So pretty simple. Once you come in here, you're going to see your account. It's going to have different things here. What you want to do is come over to auto tagging. I have it set to on already, but you can click on this up in the top corner and you just come down here. And what you want to do is with auto tagging is add UTM tags to destination URLs, replace all existing tags. That's up to you if you already have tags there. Um, you could also add the UTM uh, to your destination URLs, keep the existing tags and add any that are missing. Uh, so basically, if you're tracking things into like Omniture, different types of analytics softwares, you can keep them there and then still add the UTM tags to it. And what UTM tags will do is, so you come into Google Analytics and I just have already my campaign screen open here. Uh, so if you come into acquisition campaigns and all campaigns, what's going to happen is you're going to have your Bing ads come in here. So I have a couple different samples here. Um, so let's just say I have a campaign up here. It's called Bing ads PPC campaign. So you click on it. So what it's going to show is the source and the medium of all the traffic. So the source of the traffic is Bing. The medium is CPC, cost per click. And what you can do is come in down in secondary dimension and say, okay, what's the keyword that drove this session? And I can see, okay, it's nautical bathroom lighting. You could also see what ad content is driving the session. So if you have your ads set up differently, so I have nautical bathroom ad one. So you can just see kind of how that all comes in. And all you have to do is come in here and just click on add UTM tags to your destination URLs and replace all existing tags, or you can keep them. So that's up to you, but that's how you set up UTM tracking to Google Analytics, pretty simple. So we're gonna come back into the campaign screen here, and I wanna go over how to set up conversion tracking with Bing. Um, so when you're in the all campaign screen, down in the left-hand corner here, you can see conversion tracking as one of your options. So when you click it, they're gonna have a lot of things here about how to do it, different things like that, but make it simple. What you need to do is create a UET tag, which is a universal event tracking tag. It's Bing's, uh, basically Bing's conversion pixel, and you have to create a conversion goal. Um, so what we're going to do clear is click get started, and it's going to say create your UET tag one. So UET tag name is just going to be the name of my website, so it's beachfront decor. Um, so universal tag for and this pixel will be on every page of your website, so you need to add it to your website when you do it. So what we're going to do is copy this. Uh, so there's a JavaScript version, non-JavaScript. If your website doesn't use JavaScript, then you want to use, obviously, the non-JavaScript. You can email this. So if you have an advertising company that you work with, you can email it to them. You can download it, save it for later. Uh, so I have a copy here. You click Done. So now we have it created. So now what we have to do next is add it to my website. So I'm going to go over to my website and add it to it. Okay, so what you want to do is come into Appearance and Editor. There's two different ways to add this to your website. Um, I'm going to show you how to add it directly into your code. The other thing you can do is uh, you could use a Tag Manager plugin for WordPress. Um, I like to add things directly to my website, and then if I update my website, um, I have like a notification set so that I can redo all of my conversion pixels so they're always on my website. Uh, so what you can do is either go to the header file or the footer file. I'm going to put it in the footer file. 
Uh, so we come into the footer file. You either need to put it between the head tags or the body tags. Um, so you could put it here, right above the final body tag. And all you do is copy it, paste it here, and you just want to click update file. So now once we do that, the universal event tracking tag will be right on our every single page on our website. So you'll be all set uh, to track conversions how you want to. Okay, so our file's edited successfully here. We can see it right in here. It's right above the body tag. So this pixel will track every single time someone visits a page, goes to my website, everything is tracked through Bing. Um, so now we can do some pretty cool things in Bing. So if we come back here, it's going to say unverified for a little bit until we have it all you know, set up properly. But after you create your uh, universal event tracking tag, what you want to do is come to the conversion goals here and click on that. Um, what you want to do is create a conversion goal. So there's different things you can do. So destination URL. So let's just say, for example, you have an e-commerce website, and we do, and you want to track every time someone adds something to a cart. What you can do is name it, you know, add to cart or something like that. And then whatever your destination URL is for that, you know, if someone clicks on it and it brings them directly to their cart. So every time someone goes to the cart page or something like that, there should be conversion set up. I know with Shopify, they have them all set up for you. Same with sales. Uh, so for us, what we're going to do is track our giveaway thank you page. So what that will do is every time someone comes in and goes through our giveaway, um, it, it'll make it so that it tracks that they filled out the form. So show you how to set this up. So when people fill out the giveaway form, they're on this page, and they automatically, when they click enter, go to this page. So they go from the giveaway page to the thank you page. So now basically what it's saying is every time someone visits this thank you page, which they're only going to visit if they fill out that form. It's not easy to find anywhere else. Um, you can first put it on specific account or across all accounts, depending on how you have your thing set up. Um, you can do a value for conversion. So if it's sales or something like that, um, and then how you'd like to count your conversion. So you could do all or unique. Um, I'm going to do unique because I don't want people to sign up 10 times. Um, so Conversion windows, 30 days, that's good. And it's going to ask what universal event tracking tag you want to use. Um, so ours is going to be Beachfront Decor, the one we just set up, and click Save. Okay, so now it says, congratulations, your conversion goal is created. So if I go in and create um, a campaign where people are going to my giveaway page, and then they go to my thank you page, then they're going to hit as a conversion, and I can track those directly into Bing, and then I can optimize for those. So I'm going to go through how to set up your campaigns properly. So let's come back to the campaign screen. So for now, we've set up UTM tracking in Google Analytics. We've set up remarketing, or not remarketing. We've set up conversion tracking and our universal event tracking tag on our website. Um, so now what we want to do is create our first campaign. So click Create Campaign. Um, so there's different goals here. So using the last example with the giveaway, you would click Conversions on my website. And you would pick that conversion when... Uh, when you're setting everything up. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do visits to my website. So I'm going to track conversions directly on my website. I don't actually have so the website I'm advertising today is Beachfront Decor. I don't actually have, it's an affiliate related website. So I don't have like cart pages and all that stuff and checkout pages. Otherwise I would track that. Um, so since I'm not able to track it, what I'm able to do is track uh, duration. I could track uh, sales into analytics a little bit easier. Um, so what I'm going to do is just do website clicks. And I'm going to show you how to properly set up a campaign. Um, so for example, for my example, I'm going to use beach betting as my campaign. Um, so budget, whatever budget you have, that's up to you. Um, you could do a budget from the shared library. That's kind of a little bit more advanced. Um, so language, English, we're going to keep English. Uh, I want my ads to appear United States, Canada. I'm going to choose specific regions and just go United States. You have a lot of options when it comes to targeting locations. Um, you can see here country, region, state, province, zip, postal code. Uh, so you have a lot of different options here. Uh, what you want to do is type in whatever it is, click search, and we're just going to target U.S. So target within United States. And then it's going to say who should see your ads. I like to do, do just people in my targeted locations because if it's people searching for or viewing pages, it could be someone in South America who's viewing pages about the United States and then they at, put them in you know, into my campaign. And I'm not selling to South America, so I don't want them in here. I just want people in my targeted location. And we're going to click Save and go to the next step. Okay, so what we're going to do first here after we go through is enter our website. Okay, so we have that there. Now we want to, it's going to give us keyword suggestions based on that website. Um, but what we can do is come in here, take the actual page that we're promoting and add that, and it should give us a little bit better that's not great. 
Uh, so what we're going to do is come in here to add group. So my first add group is going to be Tommy Bahama betting. And now we're going to go through keyword match type. So what you need to do is add keywords here. Um, what you want to do is start by looking at our PPC keyword research video. Uh, so we have one on our profile. I'm going to have it on the video right now. And you can also look in the description. I'll have it linked. Um, we're not going to cover keyword research here. I've already done my keyword research. So uh, that's something you want to do on your own. So first I'm going to go over keyword match types. Um, so the first thing you want to do is understand what the different match types are. So, okay, so I've entered three different keywords here um, and they're all different match types. So the first one is modified broad match. The second one is exact match. And the third one is phrase match. And the way they work is modified broad works. So if any of these three keywords or these three keywords have to be whichever keywords have a plus sign in front of them have to be in the search query so if someone does Tommy Bahama quilts it's not going to come up but if someone does Tommy Bahama quilt bedding then it will come up for Tommy Bahama bedding up here this will match to it because you have Tommy Bahama and bedding in it um, now the other two this one is an exact match and this one is a phrase match neither of these would work for Tommy Bahama quilt bedding because this one will only match for the exact keyword and phrase match will work for things like Tommy Bahama betting sets. So that would match this keyword would match this one and the modified broad up here. Now, if you enter a keyword here and you go Tommy Bahama betting like this with no plus signs, no brackets, no quotes, anything like that, if you keep that there, this broad match keyword up here is going to you know, work for things like, you know, nice quilts. It's going to match all sorts of random keywords that you don't want um, that aren't going to be related to what you're doing. So it might just match betting sets. When someone types in Tommy Bahama betting, you're targeting this keyword. And then someone types in betting sets, your ad might come up. If you have a high enough ad rank and you have a high enough bid. And if you think about it, people, you want to, you know, target people with what exactly they're looking for. You don't want them to kind of be confused about anything like that. So what I like to do is use a mix of exact match keywords here and modified broad match keywords here. And you want to use your keyword list. So you do some uh, keyword research beforehand. So what I want to do is use our keyword list here. So I have a couple of different keywords here and I'll show you how I do everything. Okay. So I'll type out the keywords like that. And then what I'll do is copy and paste them. So we'll take these three just so you kind of know and keep them separate from each other. And then for the plus sign, I make sure I have it in front of every single keyword here. Okay, so there you go. Now we have Tommy Bahama betting as one of our ad groups. And you can see all of our keywords there are related. We have some modified broad match keywords here and up here. And then everything in brackets is an exact match keyword. Uh, so what we're going to do is save and go to the next step. Or you can add a new ad group here. What I want to do is add a new ad group. Um, so we have our first ad group up here, Tommy Bahama betting. Our second ad group is going to be beach betting. I'm going to keep this a little simpler. Um, so we're do beach bedding. Okay, so there you go. So now we have four modified broad match keywords here. Uh, so beach bedding, beach bedding sets, best beach bedding, best beach bedding sets. You don't have to add all these. I could get rid of this. Um, I could get rid of this, but I'd rather just have the different keywords there. And I like to build them out more. So then you could always pause things and just focus on certain keywords. And then we have the exact match keywords here as well. Um, so we're going to add one more ad group here called nautical bedding. Okay, so we have the same keywords here for nautical betting as beach, except instead of beach, it's nautical. So a little bit different, um, kind of similar, but uh, so now we have our three ad groups created here. So you see Tommy Bahama betting, beach betting, nautical betting, and all the keywords are related to the ad group name. Uh, so what we're going to do is click save and go to the next step. So now here's the key to creating great, great Bing ads campaigns is your ads all need to be different. Your landing pages all need to match your ad groups and you need to be sending the most relevant search queries to the most relevant pages on your website. If someone's searching for white basketball shoes, you can't send them to a page with football cleats. If someone's searching for Tommy Bahama betting sets, I don't want to send them to my page with nautical betting sets because it's different. Uh, someone's searching for palm leaf betting sets or palm tree betting sets. You want to send them to a page where you have a ton of palm tree betting sets. So I have a separate page on my website for palm tree betting sets. So I wouldn't take that keyword and send them all to beach betting. I'm going to create a new, brand new ad group for that. Um, so what we're going to do here with Tommy Bahama betting is create an ad. And first we're going to start with our final URL. So come over to your page. We have our Tommy Bahama betting sets page here with a ton of different betting sets. As you scroll down, come to the final URL, paste it in there. 
So title part one, we're just going to do... Okay, so we have one ad here now. We're going to the page, Tommy Bahama Betting Sets. Our title part one is Tommy Bahama Betting Sets, Comforters, Quilts, and More. And then we have Discover the Best Tommy Bahama Betting Sets, including Comforters and Quilts. Uh, if you have a separate mobile URL, like a separate mobile page, you can. Our website's responsive, so we don't add anything here. Uh, but what we want to do is uh, take this ad and save and create another. Okay, so we have our second ad here, a little bit different. So it's Best Tommy Bahama Bedding, Beautiful Quilts and Comforters. And then we have Discover the Best Tommy Bahama Bedding at Affordable Prices for Your Bedroom. So a couple different ads here. Uh, so we save that one. So now under Tommy Bahama Bedding, we have our first ad and we have our second ad. And the reason why it's important to create two ads for everything is because Bing is automatically going to optimize for the ad that's driving clicks and the ad that's driving results. So if we're optimizing for conversions here, Bing is going to keep serving the ad that's driving the most conversions. Uh, so what I'm going to do down here now is create uh, our beach bedding ad and then our nautical bedding ad, and I want to have two ads for that as well. So let's come in here and create ad. Uh, so when we come into our beach bedding ad, we're going to open up our beach theme bedding sets page. So we're going to take that page, copy it, and paste it into the final URL. So that's important. So now what we're able to do is send people to the right page when they're searching for beach theme bedding. Uh, so what we're going to do is, you know, best beach themed bedding. Same thing we did before. Okay, so last we're going to come into nautical bedding here and click create ad. Um, so you come into nautical, ultimate guide to nautical bedding sets. And we're going to create two ads for this one as well. Okay, so as you're putting together your campaign, it should look somewhat like this. So you have your ad group separated out. We have two ads for each ad group, and each ad group is sending traffic to the correct page. So these nautical bedding will only send traffic to my nautical bedding page. Beach bedding will only send traffic to my beach bedding page. Tommy Bahama bedding will only send traffic to my Tommy Bahama page. Um, so now we're going to add ad extensions here. Um, so you have site link extensions, call out extensions, structured snippet extensions, and then some different things down here as well um, in case those work for you. Okay, so before we start adding extensions, I kind of want to go through what they look like in case you're unfamiliar with them. So if you come into Bing and you just search whatever search it is, um, so we have Bed Bath & Beyond up here when I search Beach Bedding, Coastal Style Bedding, Beyond Your Everyday Store. Uh, so these two links down here are site link extensions. Uh, so they're a way to drive traffic to different pages on your website. Uh, these on Wayfair are also site link extensions. Um, so those are just good things to know. Um, this Wayfair ad actually has basically every single thing you can think of. So right here, Wayfair is rated four out of five stars, 67,000 reviews. This, these are, this is a review extension. Um, so if you come in back to ad extensions, uh, there's review extensions down here. So this brands right here, that's a structured snippet extension. Uh, so you can do the different brands you have. So if you come down here to structured snippets, uh, that's what those are. And then where you see here, shop our huge selection, a zillion things home and something for everyone. So those are call-out extensions. Um, so they look kind of like they're part of the description, but they're actually a, an extension, uh, an ad extension. So same here with brands uh, for Bed Bath & Beyond. So you see Tommy Bahama there. Um, and that's also a structured snippet extension. This right here is a call-out extension. I don't see any call extensions. Um, they're actually a little bit more popular on mobile because they work better for mobile. So if you search for like beach bedding on mobile uh, or something like that, let's see, maybe if I change up my search a little bit to, you know, local plumber Myrtle Beach. That's where I'm located. So let's see. So this has a location extension here. So 4014 Pine Needle Court, Myrtle's Inlet. And then here's a call extension. So you just put the number there. On desktop, it doesn't work as well. On mobile, it's like a clickable button. Uh, so you could just do a quick search and bing and see what that looks like. Uh, very similar to what, app, what they are in Google AdWords. So it's the same extensions and everything like that. Um, so let's add them now. So when you're adding site link extensions, you want to add link text and description lines. Uh, I'm not going to sit here all day and add a billion site link extensions, but what you would want to do is create pages that make the most sense when you're driving traffic to. So let's just say, uh, for example, someone's typing in nautical bedding, beach bedding, Tommy Bahama bedding. I can use an ad extension that sends them and say, just says, you know, beach bedding sets. So now maybe someone, and you want to add these two lines here. Let me do this quick here, but. Um, so what you do is add your final URL. So we're going to send this traffic all to our beach theme bedding sets page. 
um, you can set up tracking parameters and select the days and hours when this runs. We're not going to do that. We're just going to keep it on all the time. And you just click save. So now basically what it has is we have this selected. This is an available site link extension. And now we have it selected. We're going to click save. So now for every single ad here, it, we're going to have this site link extension that says beach bedding sets. Discover the best beach themed bedding sets for your bedroom. Uh, what you want to do is set up bedding sets uh, separately for each ad group. So something I could do, if, for example, if I did Tommy Bahama bedding, uh, maybe I set up a uh, site links extension that's like Tommy Bahama quilts, Tommy Bahama duvet covers, Tommy Bahama comforters, and Tommy Bahama sheets. Uh, so something like that. If I did nautical bedding sets, you could do best nautical throw pillows, um, you know, best nautical, I don't know, nautical themed bedroom designs, things like that. So you want a uh, with site links extension, do you want to add things that will enhance your ad and help people who are searching for your products? So you would add at least four site link extensions for every campaign. Uh, usually I'll add, I'll create ad group extensions. Uh, so that's something you want to do. Again, if I sat here and did my extensions, they take a while. So I'm not going to sit here and add every single site link extension, but it's just something you need to pay attention to and make sure you have added to every campaign. So call out extensions. These are a little bit quicker. You could add these really quickly. So call out text. I like using call outs for promotions or things that kind of separate you apart. So maybe you'd go free shipping. And we click save. So now we have this call out extension added. Uh, let's do another one. So save 20% in, in November. So maybe that's just a sale we're running in November. So save 20% in November. Uh, last but not least, let's go, you know, best beach bedding. So you just want little things that will hopefully set you apart from uh, from your competition. So if we come to local plumber here, let's see if we can. So here's one schedule free estimate, background check text, upfront honest pricing. So pretty simple for that ad. And that's kind of what you want to do is add quick things, click save. So now we have three call out extensions added here. Uh, so structured snippet extensions. I'm just going to steal the, the example we've seen a couple times. So basically with structured snippets, you have a variety of things here that depending on what your business is, it makes the most sense. So if you're in travel, you could have featured hotels or destinations. Uh, for If you're promoting a school, you could do different degree programs, different courses, uh, maybe insurance coverage, so different things like that. So you'll see brands. Um, so what we can do is values. Let's do something like Tommy Bahama. I don't know, Nautica. And I don't know, Beach Brand, ABC. Just make it up. So click save. Save. Um, structured snippets, you have to have legitimate things here. So if I'm actually holding these three brands, then they're going to approve it. If they can't figure out what beach brand ABC is, they'll probably just de decline this ad. So make sure with your structured snippets, you add things that make sense. Um, location extensions, if you have a local, uh, you know, local on a map location, like a small business with a storefront, you want to add location extensions. They look just like this here. So 4014, Pine Needle Court. And then when people are in the map section, they can see some of these different things here. Um, app extensions, if you have a mobile app, you can add that to your Bing Ads campaign. We don't have one. Uh, call extensions, so these are pretty easy. So click Add Call Extensions, so then you would add a phone number. Click Save. Pretty simple. Review extensions. So with review extensions, which you, you can add a uh, paraphrase review here or source URL. What you want to do is import your URL or your reviews uh, if you have a big brand or something like that. So with Wayfair, they uh, added a lot of their reviews. A lot of these don't have reviews. So if you have a lot of reviews, then it makes sense to add review extensions otherwise. Click save and go to the next step. So budget and bids is going to be our final thing here. So we already have individual budget. We set this earlier. Um, you can adjust this as you want. Think of an indiv individual budget as 30 days. So what that means is take 25, multiply it by 30. And what Bing is going to do is try to keep that total budget and spend it perfectly within 30 days. So if you're constantly changing your daily budget, it might mess with your campaign a little bit. So you kind of want to pick something here. Uh, so figure out your monthly budget, divide it by 30, 31, whatever many days there are, and then put that per day. So maybe it's $20 per day for 30 days, $600 budget. So you just add $20 here. So let's just do $20 if my budget's $600 per month. So you want to think of it as a monthly thing and not as much as a daily. Um, so bid strategy, so you could do automated bidding. Uh, to maximize clicks. Enhance CPC, so if you're optimizing for conversions, you want to use Enhance CPC. Manual, use the bid I set. That's what I like to do. So what it's going to show you here are some forecasts. So for the different ad groups, depending on our bids, it's going to show different forecasts for the amount of 
basically the amount that we're bidding. Uh, so if we adjust our bids upwards, you can see them change dynamically. So, you know, it's going to basically double your results if you double your bid. Uh, so for bidding, if you're not sure what to bid, you can use the Bing Ads Keyword Planner, the Google Keyword Planner. Um, the other thing is that you just kind of, for product-based bids, you're going to have to bid usually at least a dollar if they're, if they're driving sales. So start with a dollar. You can always adjust it up and down. That's just something that to keep in mind. So advanced campaign settings, uh, you can change how your ads are distributed, different locations, ad schedule and device. Uh, so maybe you want to decrease bids by 10% for smartphones. Uh, there's different things you can do here. Ad schedule, maybe you only want to run, you know, Monday through Friday like this. Um, same with location. Maybe you want to adjust your locations uh, by certain bid adjustments. So maybe I add United States here, but then I add New York City or something, or since it's beach bedding, maybe I add Miami Beach and I increase my bid by 10%. So just different things you can do in here. Ad distribution, you can choose not to, you know, you can choose some of these different things here. So automatically you're in Bing, AOL, and Yahoo search syndicated partners. Um, so you can do just, you know, Bing, AOL, and Yahoo searched, operated, and own only. And then you can do syndicated search partners only. So just keep all search networks open. That's what I'd recommend. And then click save. Okay, so now our campaign's created. It's going to say create campaign, in review, approved. You're probably going to get approved as long as you're not bidding on crazy things here. But let's go through it real quick. Um, we click on beach bedding. So we have our three different ad groups here, Tommy Bahama bedding, nautical bedding, beach bedding. If we click on our Tommy Bahama so we can see our different keywords in here. And we talked about the match types before. So you could see these are exact match keywords. These are broad match keywords. If you want to add a keyword, for example, maybe I just want to add Tommy Bahama quilts. Click save. Okay, so now when you add it there, so now this is a broad keyword. It's going to be, it's a terrible keyword. If you add anything that's broad, you're wasting your money. Uh, so what we want to do is come in here, click Tommy Bahama broad, and you can change it. Uh, so maybe we go exact. Click save. And now we have exact. If you want to do modified broad, you have to manually add the keywords. So come in here, click edit. Where's edit? Maybe you just have to delete it and create a new keyword. So if you click add keyword, you would do Tommy Bahama quilts. Save. And there we go. Now we have Tommy Bahama quilts added as an exact match keyword. And then this Tommy Bahama quilts as a modified broad. It's just going to say broad here, but it's called a modified broad. Um, maybe we'll click in on our ads to see what they look like real quick. So here's the different ads we made. Best Tommy Bahama bedding, Tommy Bahama bedding sets. When someone clicks on these ads, they're going to go to my Tommy Bahama bedding sets page. We have automatic UTM tracking set up. So that's, you know, ideal what we want. Uh, so you can see that here. So now people come into my Tommy and hopefully they buy some of these products here or click on some ads or something like that. So ultimately that's your goal is to drive some sales. Um, and that's basically it. When you start your campaign, now your biggest challenge is... To monitor everything so see how everything's performing you want to change things as you go um, your campaign type is going to be searching content automatically that's fine um, and you're just basically monitoring results at this point you want to, everything's going to be tracked into google analytics so you come in here what you're going to be able to see is okay my nautical bathroom ad one drove one session it drove six pages in the session and a 12 minute average session duration so pretty good so i would say that's a pretty good uh pretty good engagement. If you're seeing this drove one session with, you know, a 10 second average session duration and one page per session, then maybe it's not as good of a keyword. Maybe your landing page stinks, maybe your ad stinks. Uh, so the ultimate goal with Bing ads is when I do local plumber Myrtle Beach and I search this, they're going to return ads that are all companies around me, or at least, you know, directories like this plumbers near you. So I click on this, for example, I would come into ARS Myrtle Beach, Plumber Service. They're going to have a landing page where I can contact them. And that's a perfect ad. That's exactly what you want. So uh, that's how to use Bing ads. You want to keep optimizing your campaign as you go. Uh, today we went over how to do conversion tracking, how to set up UTM tracking, and how to set up your campaign. Uh, I'm going to have another video about how to set up remarketing. It's pretty easy. Um, so we're going to do that right after this, and then uh, you'll see that come out. So. Thanks for joining us today. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out, leave them in the comments. Feel free to share our videos, and uh, we appreciate you joining us today.